Greetings, unsettled souls. Welcome to the correct views. Sam I B doing political commentary for the media speaks. You might know me from Blaster News. You might know me from Wits News. You might know me from a number of places. Unfortunately, one of the things you might know is that the studio here has been experiencing a great number of problems. So, and this doesn't happen very often, but there's only going to be one story for the dunce cap of the month because I'm having trouble getting things to stream properly. And I uh, did a really bad news right before I went live, which I'm not going to allow to affect the show. But suffice to say, friends, if you say prayers, your hello there, your friend of uh, your kind host here could use them. It's been a crazy two and a half years. All right. Uh, the winner of the Dunce Cap of the Month Award. So this never happens. We're going to go and just, you know, what do I mean? where's my dumb music? All right. Never does the theme song go right into the dumb but I guess it has uh, this time. All right, friends. Uh, Denver Post columnist says he was fired for his belief that there are only two sexes. Refused to use only words mandated by the perpetually offended. Now, it's funny because I look back to the 90s and I was very much what I considered to be a liberal. I didn't think that gay people, and I still don't, by the way, think that gay people should be bashed or hurt or anything, denied, you know, the right to leave someone something in their will. Um, I, I don't, gay marriage, if the church doesn't mind it, then I don't care what the church does. If the church doesn't wish to marry them, then no church should have to marry anybody. So, I mean, I, I'm, I'm firm on that one. But I mean, pretty much whatever two consenting adults do is between them and God. Where I've sort of uh, gotten away from a lot of this, however, is when we get into this. It starts now being sold and pushed onto children who are not showing signs of homosexuality. Um, we're denying basic science at this point. Um, XX, XY. It doesn't matter how many different ways you dress it up or name it. You're still going to be a man or a woman. Or as Michael Savage said, if a man cuts off his speckle, that doesn't mean that he is a woman. It means, in essence, that he is a mutilated man. Now, again, I don't care what someone wants to call themselves. But at the point where we start mandating what other people are allowed to say, then that becomes a huge problem, particularly when what they're stating is scientific fact. I understand you could have intersex, I guess it's like one to two percent of the people or something, but by and large, that's not what we're talking about here. <coughs> We're talking about trying to say that there is a gender such as non-binary, neither male nor female. We're trying to say that a man who wants to call himself a woman is a woman or is gender fluid. They can go from one to the other. These kinds of things I don't care if someone wishes to engage in. However, at the point where we start letting it get in the way of legitimate science, then what we're seeing is a, uh, a step in the wrong direction, a de-evolution of the society, of the culture, and of basic common sense. Uh, this isn't about two consenting adults doing what they want in their bedroom. This is about a small group of people forcing their verbiage onto everyone else, forcing everyone to capitulate to their point of view, 
even when it can be disproven by science. So listen, here's the Dunn's Cap of the Month Award winner. Um, it, it found uh, here from uh, Prison Planet, Paul Joseph Watson, the Denver Post's most read columnist says he was fired by the newspaper for his belief that there are only two sexes. In a Facebook post, John Caldera said that he was dismissed because his writing was too insensitive. My column is not a soft-voiced, sticky, sweet, NPR-style piece, which employs the language now mandated by the victim-centric identity politics media, driven media, wrote Caldera. What seemed to be the last straw for my column was my insistence that there are only two sexes, and my frustration that the inclusive of the trans, excuse me, transgendered, even that word isn't allowed. We must lose our right to free speech, he added. The columnist said that he refused to bend the knee to new speak and declined to use only the words mandated by the perpetually offended adding that conservatives are now mandated to use the language of their ideological opponents. And this is true. Imagine, uh, I would, uh, I'd be just as against this. Imagine if the right was trying to say that a man could not call himself a woman. At that point, then I would be back to the stance that I've, I've always had, or I guess reiterating the stance that I still have, which is that that is wrong. However, when the left decides that they're going to do it to others, it is somehow considered right. So now a person who does not believe that a man can be a woman is forced to say it, forced to bend the knee to it. That is not liberty. Caldera said that he was in favor of gay marriage had LGBT friends, and didn't care who used what bathroom. But that wasn't enough, refusing to adapt the language of woke ideological stormtroopers who now patrol the boundaries of acceptable language is a cardinal sin worthy of cancellation. People from this community have rights which we must protect, wrote Caldera. But to force us to use inaccurate pronouns, to force us to teach our kids that there are more than two sexes, to call what is plainly a man in a dress, well, not a man in a dress, violates our right to free speech. Caldera concluded his Facebook post by asserting that this policing of language will lead to a repeat of the 2016 and uh, Donald Trump's re-election. Thank you, media. Your tolerance created him, wrote Caldera. So again, he's not a he's not a right icon here. Is way. Right. I think that's important to note here. He's not somebody on the right. Caldera's column revealed that he does not agree with the declaration by the Associated Press that biology be damned, sex and gender are not binary, nor does he approve of a Colorado law requiring elementary school children to be indoctrinated with transgender dogma. We already covered about how straight kids were being forced to write gay love letters. No worries, the public is safe, he writes, and now that this fat criminal has been deplatformed, the comments on the Moon Battery blog, I should say. Quite what Caldera was still doing working within the mainstream media, given his belief in the virtue of free speech, is a mystery, given much of the media is now devoted to smearing and deplatforming those who exercise it. So here is the hat that I have made here. I have ordered a friend with the money that has been donated to the show. It just has not arrived yet. I was hoping that it would. I'm also having some trouble with the uh, power source going into the computer. So I had to record this, and the computer keeps cutting off, so I couldn't do as many show as many stories as I normally do. But I did want to make sure you got the dunce cap of the month since due to everything that's happened in the last almost two and a half years. I still do two shows a month. All right, friends. Um, this is the hat dots. And here we have uh, black isn't white and somebody else freaking out. Listen to the hate. And uh, 
Here somebody is pointing at a chalkboard that says YX or XX. Science notices two genders in over 99.9% .9 of people, which again is an exaggeration. It's 98. It is hateful to know science and their uh Mr. Grumpy there. And last but not least, where is it? Oh, there's always one of these. 2 plus 2 equals 4. Hate speech. <laughs> now that is going to be sent to them. Along with this award, which I'm going to show you at the end of this video in a minute, right after I read it, for the reason I just gave you, because the printer that I ordered isn't here yet. But thank you for your donations, uh, Sarah and others. The Dunce Cap of the Month. The Dunce Cap of the Month goes to the Denver Post for doltishly firing John Caldera for accurately saying that there are only two genders. Intersex is, one to two per is only one to two percent, I wrote. For failing to understand that there is nothing insensitive about stating sound science and for pandering to the PC crowd, who are utterly devoid of scientific facts, let us remember global warming, you have lost all credibility. May this award work to highlight how foolish you have become, wear the cap well, it was earned. And then I wrote here the show. So I'm going to go ahead and jump off here. I am going to let you see the award. Please donate to the show if you can at the correct views at hotmail.com. Calm. Thank you so much, everyone. Hopefully, I get these glitches and uh, other things in order. It's been crazy.